<laughs> Did you just get the periscope notification? Yep. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, hi, Carrie Ann. That was fast. You must have been on Periscope or something. <laughs> hey, Boss Hog, I remember you. <laughs> oh, Easton Dean Francis. Hi, Easton. Thanks for the hearts, Carrie Ann. <laughs> I'll get you to like this app after all. <laughs> I hope you're not too mad at me today. <laughs> What's up? Well, I just figured that... Um, I would hang out for a little while. <laughs> You'll survive. See, but you did so good, and that was so fun. So I thought, I think you're awesome. So <laughs> anyway, I thought it'd be kind of cool to just do a quick periscope and answer anybody's questions about anything and uh, maybe hopefully get some. Hey, Britters, do I know you? I think I might. You might be like, I know a lot of Britneys. So. I'm curious if I know you. Can you hear me okay, Carrie Ann? Or Easton? Can you hear me okay? Okay, cool. Okay, good. Britters, do I know you? Hi, Mason! What's up, buddy? <laughs> Mason, can you believe that Leah works at Steels? Can you believe that? <laughs> well, what's going on? He's giggling. <laughs> That's awesome. Mason, did you know if you tap your mom's phone, it gives me hearts? It puts hearts on the screen? What time do you think Jane will be home? Um, eight. At eight, okay. Yeah. Did you see those hearts, Mason? Those are cool, huh? They just show up on the screen like that. Isn't that fun? Except for I can't give myself any hearts. It doesn't work when I do it. It turns the screen around. Hi, Britters. Welcome. Do I know you? I I know a lot of Brittany, so I'm thinking I might know you. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you can't chat or tell me. <laughs> I'm wondering if you are um, Brittany Massey at steels.com or a Brittany at steels.com. I think we have three, at least two. We used to have four. Wait, four? Careful. What just happened? Oh, two. Okay, yeah. Hi, long time. Long time. Boss Hog, what is Steels.com again? Okay, so Steels.com is my e-commerce website. Um, I started it seven years ago, and it sells really cool stuff online. It's um, a collection of daily deal websites for women, and uh, so we have four sites. We have one for babies called Baby Steels, we have one for kids called Kid Steals, a scrapbook steals, and we have SheSteals.com. And she still sells all kinds of products from, for women from cooking stuff to footwear to you name it. And so um, every day at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Pacific time, we have a new high quality like boutique product up at um, the best price online for 12 hours or until it sells out. And so there's something new every 12 hours. And we ship to um, uh, the U.S., Canada, and Australia. And we um, are very soon going to be shipping um, anywhere else. We also ship to all, like, U.S. military bases around the world. We ship a lot to, like, Germany and Italy and Japan, stuff like that. So that's what steals.com is. And uh, I'm the founder and the president, and um, I'll just be on my Periscope channel over the, yeah, right on, thank you. Where are you from? Um, anyway, on my channel, I'll just be every once in a while dialing in and giving um, our customers indie. Nice, cool. Um, I'll be giving um, our customers and fans um, 
like the inside scoop on different things that are happening in the company, um, show them a lot of the products that we have, up at a steel that's on sale at that time, and um, anything else they want to do. I'll do lots of interviews with, with um, eventually do interviews with like suppliers and um, Q&A with fans and uh, interviews with even employees, you know, it'd be fun to highlight employees here and there. So, but open to any and all ideas on what people want to see. So that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll uh, do here on the Jenna Steels channel <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. So that's that. Who else just joined us? I didn't see. Should we go see what Easton's cooking? You should change your name to that. Well, I think I think it says my name is Jana Steele's. Jana Steele channel. Oh. Oh, yeah, I could. Something like that. Jana Steele's channel. Jana Steele channel. Yeah. Totally. Something like that. I thought that maybe I would just have one for each one of my websites, like the Baby Steals channel, stuff like that, but then it gets so hard to manage. So, so, so hard to manage because then there's so many, and there's so many different things for people to follow and stuff. So I figured until I really know if Periscope is going to be cool, then we just uh, test it out with uh, me for a while. <laughs> so, anyway. It is cool. I'm so obsessed with Periscope. I love it. Not not as much doing this as I do watching other people. It's really weird. Oh, I totally think it's gonna kill Snapchat. Totally. I'd be nervous if I was Snapchat. I mean, they still have, you know, lots. I mean, millions and millions and millions of users, but still. Yeah, totally like Facebook did in MySpace. I can't, I remember being so obsessed with MySpace and Holy crap, do they even exist? I mean, I guess they do. I think it's like a music thing now or something, but yeah, and then Facebook just obliterated it. And um, I think with Periscope, um, what? Oh, you're not talking to me, <laughs> sorry. Um, I think what's so cool about this for me is like, Tom sold it for a couple billion, now he has Facebook, yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, like um, watching like I do a couple different things I like to um, go to just different countries and like pick random people to watch and then um, I like to um, I really like beaches and so I like to scroll all around the map I use the map all the time and go to oh is that D Herman TC I'm wondering if that's Denise Herman Denise if it's you give me a couple hearts or say hi <laughs> um, Anyway, so I like to scroll around. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> awesome. Hi. Um, so I like to scroll around the map and look for um, people who are periscoping from the beach. <laughs> so I just look around the world and then just check out what's up at all the beaches. It's kind of fun. I like doing that. You do the same thing. Couldn't sleep and got to notice you were online. Oh, cool. Awesome. I forget um, if you're how many hours ahead of me you are. Hopefully this is too late to do this kind of stuff. Not sure how to do hearts. Oh, just tap the screen. Oh, Eastern time. Okay. That's right. And people hiking. I do do. Actually, it's really cool. You know what else I do? I look over the, um, I look over, um, the map of the ocean and try to find people who are in planes. I have no idea why. I don't even like flying. I mean, I fly a lot for business and travel, but why in the world do I actually want to watch other people on the plane? I have no clue why. Or cruise ships too. But um, I uh, but I tell you what, I found one of Howie Mandel the other night. Holy crap! It was so funny. Yeah, I never thought about that. It's kind of fun. And uh, hi, Kathy Charm. Kathy has charms. Denise. Oh, I know. He is hilarious. And on Periscope, he is so funny I mean he's goofy as heck but he just does the most random things like he'll just sit there and look at the camera and or sometimes he'll get on he'll be like I'm gonna be on for 30 seconds and you need to ask me a question if you don't ask me quite ask a question 30 seconds I'm up and then people be like hi Howie he's like that's not a question and uh, it's so funny yeah there are a lot of comedians 
I, I've only so far followed Howie, but um, I don't really know very many comedians, so maybe I'll look at see who you follow and follow a couple of those. Anyway, um, so so I I see over like I don't know I don't know how I knew he was in a plane, but I see this periscope that I figured was from a plane, and it was it was Howie. It was so funny. He was on a private plane, and he was um, kind of harassing his um, staff, like people that work for him. Holy smokes. One guy was sleeping, and he was just like, he kept waking him up in semi-inappropriate ways. And, um, whoa, it was so funny. I was, I was seriously laughing so hard. And then what I'll do, this is my other favorite thing to do on Periscope, actually, is I like to see what bands are my favorite and when they're playing and I like put it on my calendar and then figure out where they are and then I go um, look for them and hopefully that someone's periscoping and so what I'll do if I don't see anybody scoping from the concert I'll do um, I'll send out a tweet with the hashtags so like the other day um, Muse I love 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 Muse and um, they were um, well, I didn't even know when they were playing, but I just thought, you know, I should put on my calendar when Muse is playing next. And sure as shit, I mean, sure enough, they were, um, it was like Muse playing today at the Download Festival. And so I'm like, sweet. And then I thought, oh, crap, it was in the UK. The Download Festival is out there. So I'm like, it might be like over. And so then I was all trying to figure out the time zone and stuff. Long story short, they were going to be up in 10 minutes. And so I like looked where the stadium was that they were and um, that they were playing at. And then um, I, um, there wasn't anybody scoping. So I sent out a tweet and I'm like, please, somebody from the download festival hashtag, you know, um, that's going to Muse, please, please scope it and uh, download Periscope if you don't have a river. Not thinking anybody would. But next thing I knew, like five minutes later, Somebody had Periscope on and sat there in my kitchen and watched Muse play in the UK. It was so cool. But I've seen like Michael McDonald and uh, who I also love because he's like the Doobie Brothers guy, which I love the Doobie Brothers. Um, I've seen, who else have we watched live? Taylor Swift. I didn't see Taylor Swift, but you did. Who else did I, was I watching? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. I've seen a bunch of, obviously not too memorable, um, but yeah, it was pretty fun. Pretty fun to uh, watch concerts. It's amazing, like how many things you can see here. So, anyway, but the thing is, I'm just kind of testing it out right now. You should look into getting paid for your promotion of Periscope. I know, huh? Totally. <laughs> Prince's manager scoped him playing from backstage. No way. That's awesome. You know what? That just reminded me. Um, I saw Keith Urban. Dude, I bet that was so sweet. I like to watch the Shark Tank people from behind the scenes. It's pretty funny to watch Mr. Wonderful, like, smack talk Cuban. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So. Oh, my heck, I know. I love Shark Tank. It's such a great show. We always try to get the products up on Steels after. Actually, we have a product coming up on Steels that was on Shark Tank. So, I think it'll be on Baby Steels. We oh, yeah. <laughs> Carrie Ann, yep, totally. Yeah, uh, the wipes. Yeah, Denise. So, you probably know that because you watched my inside, um, my meeting today at Steels. What you called my, um, how did you say it? A ADD or something, ADHD <laughs> meeting, it totally was. I was, poor Carrie Ann was being very patient with me. I was being very distracting. <laughs> yeah, total ADHD, but we were just kind of goofing around. Most of our meetings are a little more serious than that, but usually when they're, what? They're not? <laughs> my son loves that I'm not picking my fingers and rubbing them on his face, licking, picking. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, oh, my heck, Carrie Ann, I saw, um, oh yeah, mom's bit. Totally. 
I saw Chris's baby today. Holy crap. She is freaking adorable. I love that girl. Oh my gosh. She was so, what a sweet countenance. She slept the whole time, but it was fun. It was fun to see her, especially on her birthday. Oh my heck. She was so perfect. Have you seen any cool concerts being scoped? Invite me. I'll do the same. Okay, nice. Awesome. Totally. I, um, my favorite bands are The Killers. I'm, and, uh, let's see, The Killers and, uh, Muse, of course. And Steve Miller Band, kind of classic rock dude, but I freaking love Steve Miller Band. Um, my number, 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 number one, though, the thing I listen to most more than anything else in the world is Bob Marley. <laughs> like, reggae 24-7, it seems like. Um, but Muse, The Killer, Steve Miller Band, uh, Zach Brown Band, I love him. Um, who else do I like? Anyway, that kind of that kind of jive. But I kind of like I like all music except for rap. I am not a huge fan of rap. Although there's some songs that I really like, I don't I wouldn't listen to it like on purpose. Other than the particular songs that are on my playlist that I kind of rotate through. But that's about it. But yeah, I saw Muse of the Download Festival in the same days I saw Michael McDonald and, uh, crap, there's somebody else I was watching. I watched Train, Third Eye Blind, Keith Urban. Anyway, so cool. This app is, like, freaking amazing. Doobie Brothers and Hootie and the Blowfish. Come here every year for Ribfest. Oh, nice. Oh, Ribfest. That sounds delish. Good night, Mason. See you tomorrow, Carrie Ann. <laughs> you had tickets to Third Eye Blind. Oh, nice. That's cool. Didn't go. Dang it. Hi, Denise. You're back. <laughs> well, I'm thinking that um, it's a slow night on Periscope. I might have tried. I might have logged in a little too late. Trying to figure this app out. Yeah, it's so cool. So basically, um, you can watch anything anywhere in the world that somebody's periscoping. It's so freaking cool. And I'm just like sitting here in my house, <laughs> just chilling. So figured I'd pop in and say hi and test it out a little bit more. I'm trying to test it in a couple different spots and places just to make sure that like my connection's good enough and stuff. So anyway. but it's fun. So what I'm hoping is to get a bunch of followers on my account for Steel so that we, you know, I can sh use this to show the products of the day and if people miss it, that's fine. They can, you know, um, check it out and see it later. I hope that they they create an embed function too. And then I'll just put it on the homepage of the websites or something while we're live or something like that. We'll see. It'd be kind of cool. Although, I don't have to do my makeup every day, and I don't like doing my makeup. <laughs> so, anyway. They have it so you can watch the recording, yeah. Just for 24 hours, I think. Which for me is okay, because last night I was uh, at work drinking with my lawyer and my business partner. <laughs> we created some doozies just goofing around. It was raining like crazy. I think you saw them. Crap. I deleted them later just because, <laughs> I mean, they would have deleted anyway by now, but, dumb. Anyway, but fun, too. Oh, the other thing I like to do is, like, see other people in Utah for some reason, just because Utah doesn't have very many people that are periscoping right now. It doesn't seem like, so I like to, if I see somebody else, I check it out, so. The only thing I don't like about it is I can't tell who's here. Like, oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I just clicked a button and it's like, it tells me who's here. Okay, that's cool. Is it new? You hadn't heard of it. Yeah, this is a brand new app. You always check downtown Indy. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, what, did you, what did you say, Denise? Oh, I think you just said, um, is it new? It is new. It's only been on Android for like four or five days, and um, it's owned by Twitter. 
Um, I think it's only been out entirely since March. So I think it's going to change everything as we know it. I'm super stoked about it. Like even Donald Trump today um, was announcing his presidency live on Periscope, you know? So I feel like it's going to be a channel like, you know, hey, check out my, yeah, totally a weirdo. But anyway, I hope it doesn't blow up. I know it probably will, especially the more the um, celebrities use it. I think it's going to go crazy. But for me, it's still not. Um, yeah, I think it is. I think it's going to be really, 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 really big. The biggest thing right now is hearts. Um, I think that that's like the more you tap the screen, the, or the more hearts that a person gets. Like, I think that. Thank you. I think that's how it um, is uh, monitoring engagement and popularity and like quality of broadcasts and stuff like that. But um, anyway, let me tell you a couple other cool people to follow. Um, Boss and Denise. It's um, there's a guy named Euro Maestro. I think it's E U R O underscore Maestro, and uh, he lives in Paris. And he every day he has like a new itinerary for where he's going to take people around, and um, he'll walk you through like the Sacré Coeur or um, uh, Notre Dame, um, the Eiffel Tower, and he'll be like, okay, today at ten we're going to go toward this, and then we're going to go. Um, you know, the, to the Champs Elysees, and then we're gonna. So, it's really, really cool, and you just follow him, and you're just there with him on the streets of Paris. And he's really good at talking back to people. And um, anyway, it's he's got it's crazy. Like he has eight million hearts. It's insane. And again, this has only been out since like Marchish, I think. So, if you think about how amazing that is. But it's because he has such a niche, you know? He's just walking around Europe, and live, he lives in Paris, and so he just takes advantage of it and walks people around places, and it's such a big tourist destination that it works really good. But I can't imagine if Periscope has been out, had been out for longer, because, you know, I get to do lots of cool stuff. Hey, thanks for the hearts! I get to do lots of cool stuff sometimes, and, and I love to share with people, but... Um, there's never been anything like this and I've always wanted something like this but so it'll be cool I'm gonna I'm planning a trip to I think Jamaica I wonder how he can turn it into a money-making thing Periscope will evolve yeah I don't know how he's gonna make money but I'm I'm guessing that perhaps he's a blogger and makes me his money on his blog or something like that because I think um, most people that are doing really really well on Periscope um, have a ton of Twitter followers and uh, and usually if you have a ton of Twitter followers you are uh, you know a blogger or you know have some kind of a business or something so anyway so I like to follow Euro Maestro so look him up in fact you could just look at who I'm following and you'll find him and then I like to follow a guy named uh, the points guy because I love to travel. Joey Diaz is getting offers from sponsors. Yeah, I can imagine people will start getting offers from sponsors if they're big enough. And then, um, but like for me, I'm gonna use it to just enhance more visibility to the things that we're selling. I only use Twitter for steals and for the voice. <laughs> That's awesome. But you know what? That's not unusual because Twitter's really more. Something must have happened in a game because my husband's screaming downstairs at the sports bar. <laughs> um, he, uh, what was I saying? Oh, Twitter's really like business to business, in my opinion. But I do really love Twitter. But, but yeah, so the people who are doing real, really well on Periscope right now are people who had a ton of Twitter followers. And, uh, I've never really focused on it very much because I, um, you know, not a lot of my customers use Twitter very much. So, anyway, that's that. But, um, so I like the points guy. I like Euro Maestro. Howie Mandel is just funny because he does random goofy crap and it just entertains me. <laughs> and, um, who else was I really enjoying the other day? There's one more. Anyway. Oh, there he is. Look at my dog. Say hi, Kamiji. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> 
Anyway, well, I'm gonna go see what my son just made for dinner. Shall we go check it out? He said he made fried rice. Let's see here. Oh, he sure did. Look at that. Yum! I'm showing people on Periscope your fried rice. <laughs> this is my kid, if you can believe that. <laughs> he works at Steel's too. And he also makes fried rice, apparently. Comanche! Say hi, buddy! Say hi! Say hi! Say hi! <laughs> I like the Star Wars shirt. Oh, yeah. Beer. Boss Hog likes your Star Wars shirt. Where's your beer? He's 21. <laughs> if you can believe that. I don't know where your beer is. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll get more followers and then, you know, have more of a chat. But if anybody has a quick question, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you on my next scope. Hopefully, we'll think of more creative things to say or do. All right. Bye, guys.